Welcome to the Gift and Home channel. You are watching tips to acquire new customers. In this particular tip, we're going to talk about how to use gift certificates to acquire new customers. Gift certificates are like coupons on steroids. So if you're giving away coupons right now, you're probably finding them relatively ineffective. And so my first action step for you, if you're watching this, is to go to your desk, go to your floor, go onto the counter, and throw away all your coupons. People treat coupons like trash. They treat gift certificates like cash. So what you're going to want to do to acquire new customers is you're going to want to create gift certificates, three to a page. Bring them to your local Kinko's and make a bajillion copies. Then you're going to want to give them away to anyone who is a hot prospect, anyone who you would like to have as a customer. Because as you knew, learned from the previous segment, that whole, the key concepts, the foundation behind it, givers get. So when you give away a gift certificate, you are putting the rule of reciprocity into play. It's a powerful, powerful way to get new customers. Now the three questions that always get asked about gift certificates and this using this strategy to acquire new customers is number one, how much should my gift certificate be for? What is the denomination? And the standard answer is enough so that if you break even on the transaction, the first transaction, you can feel comfortable with it. So now here's what needs to happen. The average sale, let's say your average sale is $20 right now and your cost of goods is 50%. So you have, 50, you have uh, $10 into that sale. If that's the case, I would feel perfectly comfortable creating $10 gift certificates to give to everybody and anybody and have them come in and every time they would redeem a gift certificate, I would be acquiring a new customer at a break even. And then once again, lifetime value, I'm going to make that money back through the subsequent transactions. So enough so that if your average sale holds up from the people who are redeeming the gift certificates, you are good to go. You're acquiring customers at a break even or a small profit. The second question that always gets asked is, how much fine print should there be on my gift certificates? And the standard answer there is, uh, as little as possible because every line of fine print diminishes the quality of the gesture. Remember, this is a gift. You want to give it to somebody and say, hey, thanks for, you know, here's a gift certificate. I'd love to show you around my store. So the gesture needs to be as pure and positive as possible. And if you've got lines and lines of fine print, it's no longer a gift. It's now a coupon in disguise. So, expiration dates? Probably not. They can be used judiciously. All these sorts of things. Be careful with them. Here is one line that you do want to put on your gift certificate, however, and that is, please, only one gift certificate per person or per purchase because people typically think of a gift certificate as having cash value. These have no cash value. So what you don't want is 10 friends taking $10 gift certificates coming into your store and treating it like it's $100 in cash. This is a customer acquisition strategy, not a strategy to give away the store. That's the second question. As little fine print as possible, but don't forget, please, only one per purchase. The third question that always gets asked and is the hardest emotional hurdle for most people to swallow is, isn't somebody going to take advantage of my generosity? Isn't somebody going to screw me? And the answer is, of course they are. If you have a $10 gift certificate, I guarantee there are going to be people who come in and look around and will build their purchase to $9.99 and want a penny back. That is just the way it is. But take heart. As long as the average is holding up, which is why you need to track how much people are spending when they're redeeming, when they're redeeming these, as long as the average is holding up, you are acquiring new customers. 
Customer acquisition at a break-even or a small profit is the way that today's savvy retailers are building their business. Traditional advertising is becoming less and less effective. You need to find new ways. Now, what can you do? You can give these things away at your chamber mixers. You can give them away to your friends and family. You can give them away to other businesses to give to their customers. There's lots of ways to give these away. But here's the beautiful thing about this whole gift certificates to acquire new customer strategy. The only time you actually pay to acquire a new customer is when you actually acquire a new customer. So you're printing up, you know, you spend $50 in printing up a giant stack of these gift certificates. The only time you're actually putting money out, aside from the cost of that printing, is when somebody actually comes in your store, gets a chance to meet you, you get a chance to serve them, and you get a chance to put them into your marketing, you know, system. You get a chance to proactively build that relationship.